The future has begun. A few days ago, a new chapter in modern space research was opened with the high-profile launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. In today's video, you can find out which ambitious goals the scientific successor to the Hubble Telescope is aiming for within the scope of the planned mission and which complex instruments will be used to achieve them. Want to learn more about groundbreaking research missions and exciting discoveries in the universe on a regular basis? Then remember to subscribe to Simply Space and click on the bell to stay up to date from now on. Feel free to show us with a thumbs up that we can keep you engaged with the content of our videos. James Webb Space Telescope while many people across the globe were still busy digesting their holiday meals, the employees of the renowned space agencies were able to enjoy a very special Christmas present, the successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope. On December 25th at 9.20 a.m. local time, the time had come. From the European spaceport in Kourou, French Guyana, the complex technical equipment on board, an Ariane 5 rocket, left our blue home planet. The space telescope, which originated from a cooperation between NASA, ESA, and CSA, is currently on its way to its intended target position. Arriving in its target orbit 900,000 miles away from us, Webb is expected to help unravel some of the greatest mysteries of the earliest universe. Provided all goes according to plan, the $10 billion space telescope, named after former NASA administrator James Webb, will provide glimpses of the cosmos's earliest star stars and galaxies, probe the atmospheres of alien exoplanets, and conduct a host of other significant research over the next five to ten years. Although Webb has not even reached his intended destination, NASA personnel are already expressing euphoria. For example, the current administrator of the U.S. Space Agency, Bill Nelson, has spoken of how the knowledge to be gathered during the mission will be simply overwhelming. By deciphering numerous cosmic mysteries, it's hoped that our understanding of the universe will be elevated to a completely new level. In detail, the Space Telescope is described as by far the most most complex piece of equipment ever developed by experts. And just this development phase looks back already on a history of decades. A Bumpy Start The foundation for the recently completed launch of the James Webb Space Telescope was laid more than three decades ago. Back in 1989, a group of experts gathered at the Space Telescope Science Institute in Baltimore to discuss a theoretical successor to the Hubble Space Telescope. Given that Hubble had not even left Earth at that point, the astronomers' push at that time may seem somewhat premature. But in fact, the design of highly complex space telescopes takes an extremely long time, which is why even today, researchers plan their projects several decades in advance. The detail involved in Webb's construction phase become clear when we consider that more than 10,000 people were involved in the realization of the new space telescope. When Hubble finally set out into the vast expanses of the universe, in April 1990, the experts soon discovered to their own regret that the mission was going anything but according to plan. The first images that Hubble transmitted to Earth were virtually unusable due to their blurriness. These complications, occurring at the beginning of the ambitious project, would eventually cast a negative shadow on the development of the Webb telescope. As a result, the experts initially focused their attention on repairing Hubble, rather than on designing its successor. Three years, one corrective optic, and several replacement instruments later, Hubble was ready for use. Now it was time again for the experts to take a look at the future of space exploration. Exploration. The experts soon agreed that Webb should devote himself to an exciting topic, the study of the earliest universe. In the mid-1990s, Hubble had produced a view of the cosmos that reflected what the universe looked like a mere billion years after the Big Bang. The future space telescope should be able to penetrate much deeper into the past of the universe, perhaps even into that era when the first stars and galaxies were formed. Further Complications 
Applied to reality, this ambitious goal meant that Webb had to be optimized to identify and analyze infrared light, a drastic difference from the Hubble Space Telescope, which operates primarily in the optical and ultraviolet wavelength ranges. Specifically, the optical and ultraviolet emissions from the very first stars and galaxies have been stretched so much by the unchecked expansion of the universe that they present themselves to us today in longer infrared wavelengths. Infrared light spreads out much better than its higher energy counterparts, as it can pass through the dust and gas clouds in the universe more easily. At the same time, the new space telescope would have to be large enough to collect and analyze enough photons from the gigantic depths of space. As a result, Webb was to be equipped with a 25-foot-wide primary mirror, which was subsequently reduced in size to 18 feet. The basic design of the highly complex instrument was already largely completed in 1996. The optimistic estimates at the time were that the construction of the space telescope would require about $1 billion, with Webb entering service in 2007, a hope that, as we know, would not match reality. By 2010, for example, the cost had already risen to $5 billion, while at the time, Webb was scheduled to leave our blue home planet in 2014 at the earliest. In 2011, however, the ambitious undertaking faced an all-time low. At that time, the Budget Committee of the U.S. House of Representatives toyed with the idea of putting the construction of the space telescope on hold. Fortunately, thanks to the indignant counter-arguments of some renowned scientists and influential politicians, the government did not stop funding. The Most Powerful Space Telescope in History Meanwhile, the lofty goals Webb is expected to achieve in the course of its mission come with some conceivably demanding requirements. The Space Telescope's scientific instruments must be kept enormously cold, since their own heat emissions could mask the faint infrared emissions that Webb is supposed to detect. The target temperature at which Webb is to perform its service is about minus 364 degrees Fahrenheit. To ensure this extreme cooling, the experts are relying on two different components. One is a sun shield consisting of five layers about the size of a tennis court. The other is the intended position of the space telescope. According to this, Webb will perform its work from the so-called lag range point L2, a gravitationally stable location outside the Earth's orbit. What makes it special is the fact that Webb will always remain in line with the Earth there as it moves around the Sun. In this sense, our terrestrial home and its moon serve as additional shielding for the space telescope from the Sun's incoming rays. However, since the corresponding target point with a distance of 900,000 miles is too far away from us to be reached by astronauts, manned servicing missions, such as those still completed with Hubble, can not be carried out in this case. The telescope's main mirror, which will only unfold in space, is composed of 18 hexagonal segments. These, in turn, are made by beryllium, which has been coated with a thin layer of gold. Together, the mirror weighs 1,378 pounds, making it more than 771 pounds lighter than Hubble's one-piece primary mirror. The photons that Webb's mirror captures, meanwhile, are studied by four scientific instruments. The near-infrared spectrograph, the mid-infrared infrared instrument, the near-infrared camera, and the FGS-NIRISS spectrograph. This technical quartet will enable Webb to detect cosmic objects 10 billion times fainter than the faintest star we can view with the naked eye in the firmament. In terms of this, Webb's capabilities exceed those of its predecessor telescope by a factor of 10 to 100. In the process, the new space telescope will be able to make details the size of a dime visible from a distance of 25 miles. The Mission Goals After all the previous delays and cost explosions, Webb has finally arrived in space. Before the space telescope transmits the first groundbreaking observation results toward Earth, however, patience is required. From the time of launch, Webb will take about a month to reach its intended destination. Even before the space telescope reaches the lag range point L2, the first exciting step awaits the earthly experts, the deployment of the solar shield. This endeavor is scheduled to take place in the first seven days after launch. Meanwhile, the 140 release mechanisms, 400 pulleys, 90 cables, and 8 deployment motors will at best seamlessly interlock. Unfolding the 18 mirror components is an equally challenging task for experts. 
for the space telescope to be launched as planned, the mirror surface must be aligned to an accuracy of about six millionths of an inch. To put this in perspective, a strand of human DNA has a width of about one billionth of an inch. Assuming that all these preparations go smoothly, it will take another six months before all of Webb's systems and instruments are fully operational. According to current plans, the Space Telescope will begin its actual research mission in the summer of 2022. The core objectives of this exciting mission include the search for the first stars and galaxies that were formed after the Big Bang and the subsequent so-called Dark Age 13.5 billion years ago. But the main scientific tasks of the Space Telescope also include the investigation of structure-forming processes in the cosmos and the study of the formation mechanisms of galaxies, stars, black holes, and planetary systems. Ultimately, Webb will also examine exoplanets for their atmospheres and potential habitability. Now it's your turn. What do you think about the successful launch of the James Webb Space Telescope and its exciting mission goals? We're already looking forward to your comments. Want to read more interesting articles about space? Then take a look at the other videos on our channel, which we have linked for you in the credits. Thanks for your interest. Take care, and we'll see you next time.